Now, let's see what happens when input source is changed. When in follow mode, the role of input is crystal clear. What to follow? When in envelope or cycle, it works without input. Then, what is it for? The answer is... Trigger. When no input is set, FG triggers exactly when the note is played and only one time trigger. So under these settings, neither lagged trigger nor looped trigger is available. To achieve these advanced curves, you have to make use of input. So the role of input is radically different depending on modes. In EMV or LFO families, Input is used only for triggering. Then, how do they communicate? How does an input give a cue to FG? FG is triggered each time when the input crosses zero to positive direction. This is important. So with this old trigger system, you can draw envelope multiple times while just holding a single note, and the retrigger times can be synced to beat. A locked, delayed triggering is also possible. For example, if you set synced triangle LFO as input, you can easily get locked, synced, looped envelope. One big difference between the first trigger and the input retrigger is the latter just go back to attack stage, keeping its current value. So if a retrigger comes during decay stage, it starts over from attack but doesn't go back to zero. This also means that retriggers during attack stage does nothing effective, since it is already in attack stage. In cycle mode, basically it works the same. There were two positive crossing which triggers FG. Small difference, however, is that envelope mode never starts to move until the first cue is given, while cycle mode immediately starts its cycle. Cheers! Now you've got full understanding about input retrigger. Remember the word there are two positive. The next chapter is about the other three advanced modes not mentioned so far. Thanks for watching.